Testing. Yeah, okay. I got monitor off. Um... All right, so, yeah, at the end of my stream la last night, I started a, a Windows installation directly from within the messed up operating system, and it, it's just, uh, it's like uh, uh, 7.45 or so in the morning, and uh, it's just, uh, I have just managed to get uh, Streamlabs installed. I just did a straight Streamlabs install and an Opera GX install. It picked up my NVIDIA 1050 Ti uh, uh, driver and control panel on its own. The Microsoft Store did that. Um, and I, I want this... Uh, you know... <laughs> Yeah, I, I know um, I, I've been talking to a lot of kids. I, I, I was in a school the last couple of years, 900 kids, and a lot of kids are, uh, yeah, I'm not going to, yeah. I'm going to be a YouTube uh, star or whatever. I'm going to be a Twitch streamer star or something like that. And so, yeah, I want to engage uh <laughs> kids and my, my my students and stuff but but I need to get where they're at and uh, and so I I dived in and I got on this uh, twitch stalled some games started playing them and now I kind of yeah I'm wanting to show how to how to get things set up now my stream labs uh, um, Let me see. I'm trying to get where you can see everything. Um, I, I'm putting it out on to my shared screen because I, I want you to be able to see um, uh, what's going on. What, um, since this is a, a new installation um, I've got configuration changes that need to be made but um, again uh, yeah let's see uh, settings you see the setting down here on the bottom left I'm going to open that and let's just let's just go down through the whole thing General, the language is English. Confirm stream title and game before going live. Okay, just disable hardware acceleration requires restart. No, I want to. I want to have my hardware acceleration. Thank you. Disable live streaming features. Recording mode only. Restart stream labels. I'm not sure what this means. I'm going to click it and see. Stream label session has been successfully restarted. Okay, so I still don't know what it is. <laughs> Configure default devices. Right, that takes me to the webcam, the visual preset. Oh, look, uh, I've got, I can change it to sepia tone, right? visual preset. I like sepia tone. All right. And my microphone, I want to, you know, specify that my microphone is going to be uh, for for my mixer board as a default. All right, so now let me go back into settings again, and let's go. We're still in general. We're going to keep going down. Show confirmation dialog uh, when starting streams. Show confirmation dialog when stopping streams. Automatically record when streaming. Okay, so I want that. Keep recording when stream stops. I want that too. Uh, 
automatically start replay buffer when streaming, keep replay buffer active when stream stops. I, I, I'm really not sure what the replay buffer is. And so what, just as a, as a demonstration, when, it, when you're going through setup and you come across that stuff that you don't know, write it down. Replay buffer. WTH. The heck? What the heck is that? All right. Um, now, another thing is how, you, uh, if, if you've been watching my stream, you'll, you'll know that I've been going through this thing of setting up um, audio uh, or, or, or setting up video streams and, and images and so on in my layout. And what I've done is uh, Streamlabs, I, I set up a stream assets directory on an auxiliary drive. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and start recording for this session. So, and um, there's a, a couple of things I'd like to talk about here. Um, by setting up this directory structure in an auxiliary drive, it's sort of like a permanent uh, reference for, for local files. And um, I was able to reformat the computer, start back up, and I've got all this action going on, all these uh, uh, movie clips and, uh, and so on. And um, sorry, I gotta get this ginger tea into me. Um, see if I can get this music going now. I don't have Fubar. This should be coming across my desktop audio at this time. I'm not sure if it is, but I'm going to check. I do not see it. Uh, I've got two collab camps in this setup. And it seems like this should be picking it up. So I'm going to open properties on this. And look, I've got this device. It doesn't seem correct, right? Yeah, all right, so I think, I think that that's coming across now. And this is playing right now on Groove. All right, so continuing, let's see. Now, uh, again, I have this audio in my, uh, in my Streamlabs Assets Auxiliary Drive Directory for quick, uh, quick reference. I used to do closed circuit television production for Robinson College of Business, and that was when I first, was first introduced to Digital Juice, and this is like way back, you know, uh, in, the, in the very early days. Uh, 
uh, and eventually I got one of these lifetime pro memberships with Digital Juice. I really think it's worth it. It was, a, it was some kind of $500 thing, and you got a pro access, so that gives you a like, big, huge, uh, all you want database of background music. Keep the copyright crap off your neck, hopefully. Let's see. Uh, Source alignment snapping, snap sensitivity. I'm ambivalent about this. I, I'm still thinking about it. The jury's still out. Okay, so the next setting is oh, okay. So this guy, Groove Music, does not loop. Okay, repeat all. I, I put the, the setting up like this. So this is this piece of crap thing right here. This is your default thing that comes with Windows, which I, I, I don't really like. But I use FooBar, but I'm not there yet. Okay, stream to multiple platforms at once with Streamlabs Ultra. Oh, back ab about the setting up uh, uh, recording. Um, as I said, I'm not a super expert on streaming, and I noticed that by default, um, the um, the quality um, it's not 1080p. And, and, I, and I, I, I saw some article written: you shouldn't stream at 1080p. You know, it's gonna affect overall performance. Blah blah blah. I, I'm not sure. The jury's still out on that. But um, I like the screen to be recorded uh, well, um, and and that way when I'm I'm doing a tutorial like I'm doing now, uh, I I have an uh, original copy that's uh, on a local machine. I can edit, and it's also uh, more what you see is what you get. Uh, HD recording that's going on. All right, so uh, the multi-streaming is for uh, being able to stream to multiple uh, platforms at the same time. Let's see. Um, doom, 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 doom. The typical ones here. Can't set, change these when I'm live. Uh, I don't know what Trovo is. This is another thing I should write. What is Trovo? Trovo. W T H. What the heck? All right. Is that? All right. Output mode, simple streaming, video bit rate 2500. I, I'm assuming this is the, the ideal or it does some detec detection stuff. And. My recording path is to uh, videos on the C drive, and I'm glad I, I'm, I'm looking at this. I'm not. See, I've got a, a high quality medium file size setting here, and this is a, my, my concern here is that, uh, you know, I want this to be, um, uh, just to be safe, uh, the best quality. But from what I've looked at in, in my tests, uh, it, it seems like it's okay. And I, I can't change it when I'm live, but okay, replay buffer is enabled, maximum replay time in seconds it's 20 seconds okay uh, i've got to figure out what that is but i'm assuming it's like uh if i'm on a live stream you and you miss a little bit you can back it up a little bit but i'm not sure i really don't know uh sample rate there we go looks like cd quality channels stereo that's good desktop audio device that's correct this is my mixer board 
and there's my mixer board microphone this is coming through what well, my setup here is I've got a, a, a power Mac um, that's running to a, a studio interface and then the studio inter interface is going line out into a mixer board on the PC so my microphone audio is coming through my Mac uh, studio and incidentally when the you know the, when the Mac is uh, is shut down uh, it's still all the, the the wiring for the microphone goes through the interface and as long as the interface is on uh, the things operational so it just can't pick up any treatment from uh, the Mac which uh, is also possible if I, if I have the Mac on and running uh, then I can uh, have the microphone uh, be delivering uh, uh, any modification that I want to put on it with uh, Logic Pro or Reason or uh, whatever, uh, GarageBand, what, whatever I happen to be using in my studio. So there's audio, baseline, all right, video, 1920, base canvas revolution, uh, revolution, uh, 1920 by 1080. Downscale filter, bicubit sharpening, 16 samples. Um, FPS values, and I, I noticed what, that there's some sharpening. I, I'm not. Um, I guess this is bigger, and this is the happy meaning, the Langsos. But I need to look at that uh, downscale filter. So I'll put that down. Down scale. Filter. W T H. Um. Set up hotkeys. How nice. Scenes. Oh, these are hotkeys for uh, switching between scenes. This is good. Hotkeys for live scene. Oh, this is great. Like, um, yeah, if uh, if I want, I can uh, set up uh, some hotkeys um, to turn stuff on and off, like on the fly. And this is really, really good. I really uh, I think that this could uh, develop into something that's uh, very uh, amazing in terms of the camera changing and the, the stuff that is possible for you to do. Um, automatic reconnect yeah I want that network bind to IP These are my different uh, addresses, and um, this this system I'm I'm hardwired on Cat Seven. Source hardware acceleration requires a restore. I, I'm assuming this 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 means that um, I'm getting hardware acceleration in uh, my browser. And browsers now, as I understand it, it's like when you have a browser window open, it's now uh, got apps that that can. So you're literally it's like opening a software. 
uh, uh, it's like a virtual environment. That's why you, one of the factors why you get this phenomena of it having to take a lot of memory. I feel some discomfort about that. I want to understand more about it. Um, all right, this is something for my, for my themes. And I'm kind of leaning towards getting to where I do all these by myself. Um, just to, you know, like a quick uh, DIY demonstration would be this. Okay, I made this by myself. I used uh, Google Fonts um, and uh, I used, uh, uh, you know, just a, a, a media file. Uh, from my digital juice account to get that. So I'm going to switch back to live scene again. And go back to my settings again. Hotkeys, advance. Okay, notifications. Show notifications. I'm going to enable sound. Um, And I want to detect lag frames and drop frames. All right. these emotes <laughs> just so people can have more fun I guess enable a custom nav navigation bar to pin your favorite features for quick access um, Z. What is this? Something fun. All right. Go on down. Remote control. The free Streamlabs controller app allows you to control Streamlabs desktop from your iOS or Android device. Scan the QR code below. Don't show this code on stream. Click to reveal. Right. Okay, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> Don't show your remote control QR code on stream. Um, virtual webcam requires administrator privilege to be in, in, um, installed on your system. This is an experimental feature. Virtual webcam allows you to display your scenes from Streamlabs desktop and video conferencing software. Streamlabs desktop will appear as a webcam that can be selected in most video conferencing apps. Okay, yeah, I want that. Game overlay, enable in-game overlay, set a hotkey and hotkey settings to toggle the in-game overlay. The in-game overlay is a new experimental feature that allows you to view chat and events overlaid on top of your game. This overlay may not work with certain games running in exclusive full screen mode. For best results, we recommend running your game in windowed full screen mode. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Set a hotkey and hotkey settings to toggle the in-game overlay.
All right, so what we're looking at here. Well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to run a game and see how this is how this is gonna work. Um, and I'm thinking of a hotkey. Uh, let's see what. Uh, Maybe just I for in game overlay. Alright, so let, let's go to hotkeys and look for. Toggle in game overlay, and let's just put I. So we're going to have to come back to that to test to see if it's working. Um, positioning mode, I really don't know what it is. I'm going to have to go through and, and, and find that out. Okay, support links, streamline support, community discord, diagnostic report. Upload diagnostic report, da, 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 crash reporting, ultra is all this fabulous stuff that uh, I could get if I, you know, wanted to pay money. All right, so all right, so yeah, okay. Let me see here. Okay, now, yeah, when I hit the I key, I get an independent chat window. Let, let me see if I can move this around. Can I move it? Okay, the I've got a toggle positioning mode. Okay, okay, so I've got a hot key now. I can see this. All right, um, toggle positioning mode. Okay, so I'm gonna turn that on and hit done. No, I still can't position the chat. I can just either turn it on or turn it off. And I've got this kind of... Um, you know, I'm no longer uh, seeing Streamlabs on... Something in, in my setup has, has uh, caused Streamlabs to... Let's go. Let's go here and see if it was in this one. Enable in-game overlay. Let's turn it off and see if that puts me back. No. Can I go back again? Put it back on. Game overlay. All right, I want to. I, I changed my overlay opacity, and now I'm, I'm hitting the. Uh, thing to see if it comes on. I put my overlay compat. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, so the overlay opacity, what that does is uh, it'll eventually make your thing invisible. <laughs> um, but it is kind of handy to be able to see through it, but, but you don't want it entirely invisible. So I'm going to put it like that. Uh, yeah. That gets my chat over off, off the side. Now... What? What? Let's see. Properties. This is what I'm on.
So this, yeah, something is, is going on. Oh, wait a second. Here, here we go. Okay. Yeah, that was like maybe a little buggy thing or something like that. Now I've got my, my full screen uh, capture going again. And I can see, I can see entirely what, uh, what I'm getting on this uh, second monitor here. You can see that on the, on the display. Now I'm going to have to drop off here for uh, uh, about an hour. And uh, and then I'm gonna, but you know, probably less than an hour. I'm gonna try my best. I've got to make a run um, uh, up the road here to the next city. <coughs> and as soon as I get back, I'm gonna I'm gonna restart. Uh, so thanks for thanks for tuning in. I hope this has been helpful for for new streamers. It's been helpful for me because <laughs> I've found some some things that I, I don't understand and I, I've got a list here and maybe I'll, I'll be able to come back uh, at the end of this with uh, a couple more answers. Uh, if I if I don't know, yeah, yeah there's plenty of things I don't know how to do. but um, the what I like to show is like if, if you're gonna do something, you got to get out there and, and do it. As, as far as you can as well as you can right and make notes go here's my gap here's here's the thing that I don't understand right write write notes if there's something that you don't know damn well go and find out uh, what it is and, uh, and and grow that way so until I get back I'll see you then Thank